Please tell us your name. I'm like a Tian Karina. Sonam. Sonam. His Holiness. His Holiness the Dalai Lama asked us to record your experiences so that we can share your memories with many generations of Tibetans, the Chinese, and the rest of the world. Your memories will help us to document the true history, culture, and beliefs of the Tibetan people. Do you give your permission for the Tibet Oral History Project to use this interview? Uh, Yes. Um, thank you for offering to share your story with us. Um, during this interview, if you wish to take a break or stop at any time, please let me know. If you do not wish to answer a question or talk about something, let me know. If this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? I won't have any problems. Okay. We are honored to record your story and appreciate your participation in this project. Um, Amla, I'm tell me how old you are. Amla, I'm 77. 77. And where were you born? Amla, I'm from Kaware. Uh, Tsang. It's Tsang in uh, Tibet. In Tibet. Uh, which province in Tibet? Tsang di Pyo Chioka Kadi Kungdo Le Ligi Yore Amla. Eh... Ngaju Che di Zongga La Tiako Shika. Zongga Zong. I think... Che Za Di Pura Ya Zong Le Pyo. While in Tibet, we used to pay our taxes to the uh, Zongar district. Okay. Is that Utsang? Uzang, 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 okay. Right. And for a livelihood, what did your family do? Any amla number two, the soa can this gig you in a pearly shoe pick up laya. And the soa the tendency to get last so to be sing let's say, sing a root of a rela. Any tender root and toad in there. And the other side, toad set. And two set. And then my other. The so to be sing let down. Uh, we did farm work, uh, plowing the fields uh, with yaks and zo, and then we sowed grains like uh, barley, wheat, and peas. Hmm. And did you do that uh, all the time, or did you also do any? Did you have any animals? Um, yes, we did own animals. During summer time, we worked in the fields, and during winter and autumn, we grazed the animals. Uh -huh. How many animals did your family have? We owned uh, seven or eight uh, D, eight or nine yaks, and uh, two uh, zo and uh, three female zo and a few cows. Mm -hmm. Were there any sheep in your I looked in the 
As for sheep and goats, there were many, about hundred. About a hundred, uh huh. Uh, so, a hundred. And and what did uh, did did you gather the wool from the sheep and the goats? And I'm not able to look down, run any pair go you know. Run a pair go a pull you go a red. The good so good bah. Good bah. That in the yacht in the lesat and dog is a sack is a dog is a gay. You get it time. So, 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 and also we made bags uh, to keep on the yaks to transport salt and grains and the wool of the sheep uh, was taken and combed and then uh, rolled and spun and made in, woven into woolen cloth. Mm. Mm. And like for the goats, were they, uh, did, you, did you shave them of their uh, uh, fur once a year or how often? I'm like, uh, run it, put you go away or soon so all the logic la two chick chire, ya cut cut you cut you chire. Two chick, two chick goes. Tapa go mara two chick oil, the day, then the next of the duck, sat out, do that in the luxa. So the tap, yo yo. The goats we sheared only once a day and not always. Once a day? Oh, oh, sorry, once a year, not always. And then the hair was spun to make bags for the salt and grains. What, what was it about the goat's hair that was so uh, useful for bags, for salt, or for a ba? What, what was the quality of the hair? Tantaluki pujiyorwa amla. Digita basu ni look with the basu mother. Look with the Manzo can you chew us? Nambu Nambu dagger, chew at that dagger. Ah, Madame La Gonda Rasigue. And ready, Raki put the Gamla Bada Jolat in the Sugur, Zola, the Raki put the Kante of your Dente Kante, the Chicham put in the Kantaina. This Ryan Gala Tinday, good Sangbo Ringo. Ryangal would There were some goats that um, had very good and long hair, ah. and some goats had, you know, uh, shorter hair, and these were sheared and mixed together, spun and woven. And, and about how long was the hair on the goats? Can you show me how long? So the longer ones we sew and the shorter ones sew. So. Ah, okay. And, uh, and, and, and how did you, uh, you said that you would spin the Whoa! I mean, it's been the the goat's hair, hair. and then wo it was woven, and then it was woven into the. Did it like how long? A, a ba is very big, uh, home. A, a, it's a big tent home for nomads. So how long did it take to make one ba? When I'm like that, ba sugi yorwa la, and ba pe masita dropegi nang da yorwa chumu yorwa. That ba chik sugu gu yena kuringli gorge yena. Uh, ba was not made from uh, goat's hair, sorry, but from the hair of yaks and dree. Oh, okay. We'll talk about that next. I made a mistake. <laughs> I see. Uh -huh. I see goats. So the goat hair was mostly for bags. bags. And for, I thought you said the ba, but no. Uh, 
Badi yagi pugisu ragi pugisu the bags were made from goat's hair uh, and the bar from the yak's hair. Bar from yak's hair. Uh, can you tell us, like, how long would the hair be on the yak be, before it could be spun and woven? Uh, uh, there are different lengths of hair on a yak. Some had very long hair and yeah. some had shorter hair. Uh -huh. And and would you mix them all together and then weave them? Any amla ta ya puringa ta putunga changma nyamdo nyamdo ya ta ta nyamdo ta girvela. Girvela. Putunga te nangle ya kokwen tanga che ringa te juice. Takti ju korwa nangla. Uh, the long yak, uh, the longer hair was when you were weaving the uh, yak hair, you know, you used the long hair as the base and then you uh, crossed it with the short hair. Mm -hmm. Was, was there any story in the Tibetan uh, history about who, who figured out how to use the yak hair and make tents? Uh. <laughs> Uh, when I was small, that was the done thing, and I think my parents also did the same mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. For many generations back? Yes, since many generations yes, yes. back. Amala, um, what made the, uh, the, the yak hair very good for, for a ba? No. The hair of a yak is very strong, like the human hair, and when it rained or snowed, uh, water didn't seep inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, could if and if you shaved or cut off the hair of the yak, would would you do that in the summertime? Uh, the hair of the yak uh, was cut during summer time and because by some um, during springtime, sorry, because by summer it would start growing and never during autumn because they'll f the yaks will feel cold in winter. Mm -hmm. So that was the same with uh, the uh, sheep. Right. And, and how many, uh, like, how much yak hair would you need to make a ba for a family of uh, your size? I think you have five people in the family. Um, six people. Ah, I'm lucky. Nala ya, nami two yoro. Well, nami two leta baju gugu yona. Di ya ke kazu ke pugu wara. Dende chik soyala, bachimbu chik soyala. Chimbu chik soyala ya ke kuju gugu. Kuju chik thangor e. Ah, kogle chue chik thangor e. Dek chue na tulu chen chue na tulu kilo chage na kilo chuse kor. 
Two hearts. Uh, it would need the hair of eight to nine yaks uh, because you would need about a ten kilogram, more than a little more than ten kilograms of hair. Mm hmm. Mm. So how many yaks was that? You'd need uh, eight, eight to nine. nine. Eight to nine yaks, and and in one, in one cutting, like in one uh, springtime, could you have that many yaks? Have their hair cut, <laughs> and and could you weave and make a ba before winter time? Any thujuji la mla ta chiga la ya ya gi pu bhagi yorwa la. Tindi ji ba ni ta ah kilo chuz ra ba yena rwa ta gunga kenge la ya ba chik su thu rwe ta than. Tham bo ya ya gora ta bo ma ma bo gor ge de ko pura ju sho gora. No, it takes a lot of time because you had to do all the work yourself within the family. It might take over two to three months, but you might have stock from the uh, earlier season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And would you would you build uh, the ba uh, in in pieces, or how did, how did you put it together? How did you make it? I'm la ba sugu yorwala. Thangbo ba sugu kane thangbo um. It wasn't just one large piece. I know. The bar is in small pieces, mm -hmm. like the size of the carpet there. Show me the size, how big. Simple,ね,ring and this is the young as a young boy, Maria, you are. And this is good. The pieces of, uh, uh, you know, stitched um, bar cloths, they mm -hmm. were stitched together, and uh, the pieces were very long, and we normally measured it from the tip of finger to the elbow, mm -hmm. and 10 to 15 times of that is required for one length of the bar. Mm. Okay. And 10 to 15 for one, one strip. A one strip of uh, bar mm. material. Uh -huh. And then pieces were stitched together. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, but a but a ba would be so from the ground to maybe the ceiling or this high, ten foot. You would need uh, you would need ten to fifteen of those pieces. Gangbado, 
it's different in different regions, but in our region, uh, there was a rock foundation on which the bar was covered. Oh, really? A rock foundation. Uh, like a, a, a stone or a rock? A stone foundation. A stone. And then the bar material covered the stone foundation from the top. And was the stone foundation something you, you just used as a measurement or carried with you? Uh, uh, in our region, um, the bar covered only the roof part while the walls were made of stones. Ah, oh, that makes sense. And oh. plastered with clay inside. Covered only the roof. Yes, only the roof. Um, that's what she meant by stones were the Not side. The foundation, and but the walls. It was the walls. The bar covered the walls or the uh, ceiling? The bar covered the, the ceiling, ceiling, yeah. The roof. The yeah. ceiling, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the walls were stone. Stone and plastered with clay inside. And plastered with clay. And is that the kind of house you lived in growing up? In Amla number two, Chinju in Bekabli, Kangba Tara Rebel. Kangbakatibati and uh, the bar wasn't the proper house that I lived in. Uh -huh. The bar was used during summertime mm -hmm. when we took the yaks and the goats and sheep and other animals up into the mountains because during summer there the uh, there was crop in the crops in the fields mm. and the animals would eat the crops. Good. So it was just summertime mm -hmm. and you would put the roof on it and live in that kind of a structure. And then when you left, did you take the roof off and use it another time? Yes, when we returned home uh, during winter, uh, we took off the ceiling and folded, folded it, the walls remained and came back with the yaks and again went in the summertime. Mm. Well, it was a very portable roof. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, now, what kind of house did your family live in in the winter time? During winter, uh, the animals were in the um, you know, the uh, yaks and tree were outside in the yard, while the zoo, the cows and the oxen 
because they felt uh, more cold they were taken inside inside the house and during summer we would have cut grass and had stock so these these was these were fed to the animals and after the snow melted we went up to the mountains mm -hmm. so the ox dree and what else goats um yeah goats sheep and uh, the yaks uh, stayed in the yard okay Go and goats and sheep and yaks okay yes and the zoe and the cows and the oxen because they felt the cold Mm -hmm. They were taken inside the house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, so, and what about uh, in the winter months? How did how did you? Well, you said what you that you brought the animals in, but what kind of a house was it? What was your house made of? And amla kangba ngoma sa shusa jiorwa. No. Kungga la ma ma pabtu kane. Hondi kangba hande jiorre nangde. All our houses were made of stones. Um, the earth was dug and then uh, stone stone walls uh, were built and the roof was made of uh, uh, wooden planks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what, when it became very cold uh, in the winter, how did you keep your house warm, Amala? Mm. Sing <laughs> So um, in the house, we made a fire uh, using uh, cow dung mostly, and then also wood and uh, sheep dung too. Uh, during summer, you know, the sh cow dung is dried and stocked for use for the winter. And uh, outside too, where the animals were kept, we kept, you know, like cow, uh, sheep dung, uh, you know, am amber. Amber sheep down, and if it got really cold, then we wore sheep skin. Mm -hmm. But inside of the house was warm because it's built of uh, uh, stone and uh, clay. Mm -hmm. And on those long winter days, if you cannot farm, um, do you still take the sheep out to graze? Any <laughs> Uh, when there was very heavy snowfall, mm -hmm. um, the snow might come right up till the knees mm -hmm. and during that time you kept the animals near the house and uh, uh, during autumn we'd cut grass and stock the grass in uh, uh, rooms which was to be fed during winter mm -hmm. and when the sun shone the animals you know uh, sat on the pastures mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and what did 
What did the family do in the house? They were long, cold days or dark nights. How did you keep busy? What kind of task did you do? during those days there wasn't much work except that the boys made, you know wove the hair of yak and the girls did the wool work and then we also roasted the grains that we produced and ground uh, flour for champa because champa mm -hmm. is what we ate in Tibet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. And um, so, what when the the the, the boys uh, they were weaving the yak hair, right? Mm -hmm. Did they have a special uh, weaver machine to do that? That put on so yaki put the than that. ตัดสิปัสสยากิติละกะชิกิยอรวาติละยาจิกเจลาดอบจิยอรวาติละชิยากิตุกปะยกชิงเซตุกปะรุงโกเจตินซัมชิอันเดกิชอกุสอันเน
And I'm the number two to blow so 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 you better. So 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 so. Poo poo to blow blow gas so good. Poo man to blow poo man blow gas poo man learn to wash your hair. When the blow gas so now when the blow gas so I'm so tired. Poo is so tired, my dear. So. Um. So 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 you know. So so then. Ah yeah, we made a, you know, um, fabrics for the boys and for the girls, but the boys' fabrics they were not colored, while the women's were dyed. Oh, where did you get the dye from? And it's under the canera here. Under the da, ma, ma long sum se do do zai ma le. La ka wa. Long sum le. Long sum. Um, zum se zai ten de la ma do or zum, ma do ne sa ke pe ne ma sa ke ne ma do ne ma ne ya se 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 ke se zai se zong ye yo de zong ye yo de. An de de nui ne ke long de. An zhe long ba de. Nui ne ke long de se de ne se zhe dong ya bo chen dong. อันสกุลละนี่มาคัดจิตบังสกุลรู้จุดก็อันนี้มาคัดเสียจริงถูกหลอกตุ่มนี่ใช่บังดังอันนี้อะไรช่างเราบอกสวยหลังกันเลยห
sop sop ndi nang lai nya gri ani nambu tin de jambu se ma ta ni fe tin de se ma te bu so we se ndi ko nya gri mhm our babies um uh, you know laid were laid in uh, skins of very little lambs no. you know when there are many sheep you get many lambs and many die so these uh, lamb skin you know they were made soft and then used uh, for the babies and also woolen cloth was made soft for them uh -huh. really nice so oh, and what about the aprons were they made of wool the cut when you're wearing and i'm la ta pang den yor wa pang den dun ju ge pe ge su yo ru la la Yes, they are made of wool. Yeah, wool too. The sweet the jagra, the cover sweet jagra. I saw the sweet the sweet the sweet the top. Bang day, bang day. That any jagra and take it away. Only the sweet the top. Sweet jagra, the jagra, the cover. You know the yarn, yarn, yarn is coloured, and then the apron is woven as also a cloth that's normally used at the back yeah. by the ladies. I, the yarn is colored. The, colored. the wool, uh, the wool the, yarn. Yeah, wool yarn is colored, colored. and then woven. Got it. It's dyed. Yeah. In other words, it's dyed. Yes, it's colored. Dyed, and then woven. And uh, okay, I was going to ask about that. Uh, okay, she's getting tired. Okay. Uh, what and, and uh, oh, how many how many chubas did some did a girl or a mother have? And that I'm loved. Dress, <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, that I cannot say very well because the rich might have many chupas, uh. while we poor owned only two, mm -hmm. uh, one which we washed and one which we wore. Okay. Um, now, I know when we were talking about meeting with you, you said something about that your your father uh, had been involved in a dispute about a chupa. Can you tell me what happened? Ni uh pala uh amlagi thanking as a chick sumi a chebina and amlagi pala chick uh pige lumbi nalia nyokta ji tu in sarwala. Amla pala kazula pala ji nyokta ji tu yu sarwa and did you gana kari chung in up amla that in the tangu singata udwa sashing singata be to dang tende de de da be mare ジェマダンテンドスサシンデミハレシンガタンアジシンガチクワチクワヨレラチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワチクワ
and uh, he you know um, his punishment was for both the uh, both the you know um, parties and uh, he uh, both the parties would be lashed by him and uh, then uh, it is you know we believe that whoever is in the wrong felt more pain and he screamed out while the one who is right normally did not feel any pain because he was helped by the protective deities to which we had prayed. Mm -hmm. So if the person who was guilty felt the pain and the other more innocent one felt protected by the deities, what happened when your father was lashed along with the other man? And I'm like, me and now you get the teja sham to go and manga nagiri sirwala. Then now many the imba in a chango middle layer to go nata in your marwa. And if I'm like a pala laya teja should you go and any corona candy chungina. Me hi, Tama Robot, it didn't get Jab Murchiris, my papa said you. Not get Jab Gabby Marison. Mm -hmm. um, my father told me later that uh, the other person cried out and screamed, but uh, he had not uh, screamed at all, mm. even though he was bleeding. Were, you were not there? Did you amla pige yo marwa? I was little then. Mm. And I was little, and little children are normally not taken to such mm -hmm. places. But did, so did your father get the land back that was his? Yeah. And this is the story that father told me that uh, uh, father was given the land back uh, and saying that you are innocent and the guilty person didn't get it. So he, so father got the land so back. Father got the land back. Um, you know, when you were saying that you had to work at home in the winter, what did you do for light to, to be able to weave and make your clothing? What kind of what kind of uh, lighting was used? The amla gunga la nala shune ta pegi lega da di le chire sung ruwa di kabli ya ta log mik thonya ge thunda la gonda chena kabli ya ta 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 lega chidiu gane in kari yore ta log chabaja chi amla ta amla number zu gunga chena kabli ya ta pele di le nang digi yoro wa nali ya and di kabli ya ta log chabaja di kari jaji yore la. Shumas bari la. I lived in a very isolated region, so there was no electricity, but then we used to light a very tiny lamp to see. Mm. And did you ever use any uh, a butter uh, lamps uh, for you know. Uh, oh, I see. Did you did you ever slaughter any of the animals for for oil or not? Not really, or just food. Were the animals just slaughtered for food? Ta amla ta semje segi orwal amla semje segi di ta susugi saya gi thanda la segi orwal. Um, we didn't slaughter any animals during summertime, but in winter, a sheep or two was slaughtered for. Uh, in autumn, a sheep or two was slaughtered uh, for the winter, and this the slaughtering wasn't done by the family members, but there was a certain person that did it. Mm -hmm. And did you make uh, any offerings uh, in in honor of that dead animal? 
And Amla ta semjin ta luk chik ni segi yor wa Amla. Ta luk di se za ane ta luk se yo di ki thanda la ya chik ta chue da chik tende chigi yo na. Chue chung la. Luk kodang ki ning ki silu jyo wa ngundi ko zang se tu ane yu kodang chue me chubu gude ane marke chue me en jam jyo hu gude la. Yes, uh, uh, special offerings were made when a uh, sheep was slaughtered. You know, the heart, um, the fat uh, near the heart of the sheep was taken and it was washed and cleaned thoroughly and then it was used to light a lamp for the oh. dead sheep uh -huh. and also normally a hundred butter lamps would be lit for it. Oh. So the fat that grew around the sheep's heart was melted and used to light butter lamps to pray for the well-being of the sheep who was killed. This is the one that looks like a sheep. It 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 looks like a sheep. Exactly. Yes, and also, you know, butter lamps. Butter lamps and butter lamps. Why did you feel it was necessary to do that? And Amla and the Chumi Karijinita Pugoya, the Kachin Buchagi, or the Luce Abadunzulaya. The Luke Nigas, that's also Sayel Serwala. And they dig what the tire children. Because we had killed the sheep for our own consumption, so in order to wash away the negative action of that, this was done. I see. Amala. Okay. Amala, that's a very very tender story to care about the well-being of the sheep and uh, I care about your well-being and I think we've spent a very good amount of time with you and I want to thank you for this beautiful uh, account of the history early uh, experiences from your childhood and all that we've learned about the nomads and how they built their bars and took care of their animals and made their clothing thank you for such wonderful Information. Ani am lagi tanda pada lugu pe masih aku sung sungs. Nas. Ani pergi gerab gigi lugu tu. Ani am lagi nyam nyong chung bata. Ani ani dapat sugi. Ani pas soya tu, thuglo soya tu, semjen soya tu. Ani lugu pe masih am lagi mangu sung sungs. Ani thari lugu sung bata leh tu je cie sugi ins. Yang lagi tu je. I would also like to thank you. You're very welcome. I want to just do one more check. If this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? I will have no problems okay. whatsoever. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Mm -hmm.